Oh Alright, so as most of you guys know, I have a pretty dang nice set. And I mean, I've worked really hard to be able to afford all of this. But there's always been one small flaw that I have never taken the time to do. And that's fixing my PC. First of all, you can hardly see it, because this monitor doesn't have any mounting capabilities. So it kind of just leans against the cable. Yeah, so I have a nice PC. But if you look through the front, my cable management is quite awful. <laughs> and quite honestly, I'm kind of embarrassed at how it is in the back. Luckily, today is a very rainy day. And I have nothing to do. Uh, also, I don't know why, but these things are bleeping. Uh, red. Also, my graphics card won't light up. This is about to take like three hours. <laughs> Long and painful process. Wait, where am I gonna do this? Am I gonna have to unmount my monitors and just do it right here? This is gonna take a lot longer than I thought it'd be. <laughs> I'm depressed. Ah, crap. Hey. So we got everything taken down. I realized my gut. Why is it sticky? My gut's here now. It's has some indents in it. Those might be permanent, so. Oh my god! It's so heavy! Uh, I mean, you know, I probably shouldn't be handling tempered glass with one hand, but you know, it's fine. Bro, I absolutely love the look of my PC whenever the old tempered glass is off. Tell me that isn't the sexiest thing in the entire world. The fact that I built this, like, I'm smart! That's a lie. I'm just realizing, am I gonna have to take apart my, my entire PC pretty much? And then rebuild the thing? Is this just really worth it at all? I'm kind of debating it right now. My baby's a little dusty. Come out nicely. Don't make this an issue. Ugh. I did like a champ. Oh, that's a lot of RAM. Oh god, please don't break. I guess it's time for the graphics card. Time for the scariest part. So I'm probably gonna do this with two hands. So I'll just show you guys when I actually do it. Wait, but where can I put it? I don't want it to freaking like fry. I am not taking any chances with breaking this graphics card. Oh, I'm a YouTuber. Holy crap. Doing all this crap with one hand. I'm sorry. I still have the anti-static bag. All right, doing this with two hands. TikTok can wait. Please don't break. Please don't break. Carefully set it inside. I am taking zero chances of this thing. Oh my, it is so much worse than I remember. I'm literally basically just rebuilding my PC. What did I get myself into? Okay, this is gonna take a while. So I was trying to change what I was watching on my TV while I was building this, and then I realized my TV remote changes the colors of my RGB strips. What? So my camera ended up dying, but we've gotten quite far in the build. So is my cable management the best? No, but it's definitely a lot better. You can actually see most of what I'm doing. Got my fan cables right there, my motherboard cables, my AIO cables, and I have them all kind of zip tied together so that they all stay in a good clump. That way it's easier when I have to go back and do more changes. My motherboard cables are looking so much better. Same for the graphics card cables. I kind of just made sure I had everything arranged a whole lot better. Now we gotta put this RAM back in. Click. Snapping in RAM is one of the most satisfying things in the world. Why am I doing this with one hand? It's fine, I'm a pro builder. Dude, slide in. Come on, there we go. Wait, ah oh, yes. I'm pretty sure it's everything put back together. Other than putting the glass back on, I think I'm actually done. <laughs> oh, little did I know what was to come. And this is where it all went wrong. Well, it keeps turning on and turning back off. And that fan just doesn't want to actually work. A tip number two. What is happening? Oh my god, it is. Okay, I think we're okay. Ah, crap. You know what? It works. Holy crap. I That, that gave me the biggest heart attack in the world. All right, I'm going to put the glass panels back on. I'm going to start putting everything back together. And finally, everything is put back together. I swear I'm not down bad. That was a joke from my TikTok, and then I never fixed it. So whenever my Steam wallpapers don't work, that happens. My fans are also running extremely fast, and that light right there is red. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to be like that, so I have to fix that, along with the fans that are running extremely fast right now. But otherwise, it works. Fun fact, if some things aren't working, the PC's not fixed.
Back to issues, the PC won't boot because it says there's a CPU over temperature error. Um, I don't know what that means at all. So I'm gonna do my best to fix it. Um, I'll get back to you in like 30 minutes. If I haven't fixed it, then great. So after 30 minutes of clinical depression later, I found out that my Asia horse fans, this cord is supposed to be plugged into my motherboard. I had it plugged into this, which is the cord I'm supposed to plug my pump into. Because apparently my pump for my AIO wasn't plugged in. That's why it was overheating and not booting up. I'm depressed. Tell me my AIO cables do not look so much better. Oh, this whole PC looks so freaking sexy. But while I was looking for the instruction manual, this happened. So now I gotta clean this crap up before I can plug this in and see if I actually fix the issue. Please just turn on. Please be nice to me. Huh? <gasps> oh, here we go. And I have to let the homie see. All right, will it turn on, please? Well, the PC's on. But will it actually boot? I'm not seeing any movement. We're back with some more errors. Um, now my CPU fans won't spin, so it boots up, but then I get the error screen of CPU fans not working. So I fixed the pump, but now my fans aren't working. It's finally complete. All right, so it is now like, uh, four days later. That night, I was so annoyed at my PC that I just kind of stopped recording and I went to bed. I was tired. But here we are again. Everything works perfectly. It all looks amazing. We also got a bit of a new room theme. We're going with like a orange and mixing the colors. It kind of brings a nice summer warm vibe, which I personally like. Also, side note, we just hit 75,000 views in total on this channel, which means so much to you guys. Thank you guys so much. Up next is 100K, which is kind of freaking crazy in my opinion, which I know will hit soon. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching this video if you have watched it up to this point make sure to type casp is goaded in the comments just so i can see which real ones actually watched the whole way through but yeah i love you guys so much and i'll see y'all in the next video